What it is, Dell? It's your boy Crook LDB Team 100. We in here, sure. Now, real quick, guys, I ain't gonna hold you for too long. Um, I just want to let you know, like, uh, as you guys can see in the background, this is the video I'm about to drop. Now, it has um been having some issues as far as recording it. I didn't know that. So in the midst of me recording it, it definitely was lagging. So you might experience a little bit of lag in between the videos. I just want to let you guys know that. Um, cause it had been when I was doing my intro, which is why I'm doing my intro now. But yes, there is a little bit of lagging in between the video. I apologize for that. Um, unfortunately, little bro left at the time when I figured it out, and our schedules just just just, just pretty much isn't going to meet. So yes, I still want to drop it for y'all. I just want to let you know it's a little bit of lagging issues, but I still want y'all to enjoy the video like it's any other video. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. We in Oh shit, my fucking hat fell down and shit. What's good with y'all boys, man? First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for watching, for tuning in. We are on that 600 sub grind for real. You feel what I'm saying? I want to thank you guys. Y'all already know in my description box, link will be for any type of social medias. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to go crazy on Twitch. They have 500 so we can do this $500 giveaway. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure y'all go and follow me on Twitch. If you like the content, you guys want to see some more of this content, because I ain't going to lie. I keep telling y'all, like, I want to go to these Pro-Am games, though. Like, these Pro-Am games look lit. So if y'all definitely like the content, react to what I'm reacting to, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And if any suggestions that you guys want me to react to, put that down in the comment section as well. Now, as you guys know, I'm not alone. I got Lil Bro in the cut with me. I'm going to let him in introduce himself. You can cuss, it don't matter. Oh, oh alright. Just don't go crazy. Oh, alright, so guys, I invited Lil Bro. We're gonna react to a few videos and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, he's also gonna have his channel as well. He just ain't uh gotten around to it yet. But guys in the comment section, if y'all like this, tell him man, make your damn channel and stop playing already, you feel me? But today we got Isaiah Thomas. Now I recently read on this like a few weeks ago where Isaiah Thomas fucking dropped 81 in a Pro-Am game. Now, if you guys don't know, Isaiah Thomas was that nigga back in Boston. I'm not even going to lie. But it was just a sad moment where you kind of bet on yourself to get the bag and then you get hurt. And then you just never the same no more. So, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a very unfortunate situation, but we about to get into it. This intro was like mad long. But let's get right into it, man. Oh, and then he disrespected him by looking away when he shot it though. Like he crit, and he crit. Throw that shit up, cut. Oh shit! Oh shit! Like yo, this is why I want to go to these, bro. Like yo, that energy of somebody getting shook or getting dunked on, bro. Like I want to go to that, bro. Something slight, real quick, you feel me? But I ain't gonna lie, like, what I'm kind of wondering is for this man to drop 81, was it was it fucking around? Was it serious? Because the thing about like the pro am leagues and shit, it'd be a mix, it'd be like it'd be like it'd be like dudes that be in the gym, but then it'd be NBA players. Then it'd be like semi-pro players. So like, if I drop eighty-one on you, like, was you even serious? I mean, I mean, shit. At the end of the day, you still dropping eighty-one points. Still a lot of points, no matter what shit you play. I mean, so. But if I'm literally, once I got like 40, 45, like, don't you think like I should be like elbowing you or some shit? Like, yo, it's the same. Like, like yo, I, I swear, it's like it's like when Steph Curry go for thirty-five, bro. You got to start throwing elbows, my nigga. Because ain't no fucking way you going to keep shooting these threes yeah, on me. Is you going to stop them, though? Like, you still can you, is you still, is you going to stop them, though? You still can't stop them, nigga. Yeah, man. Man, listen. Yeah. That man is 6'3", like what? 160? That nigga's 6'3", 190. 6'3", 190? Yeah. It don't matter. The point I'm trying to say is he little, bro. You got to throw a little bit of, you're like, uh, I'm just saying, bro. You ain't, you ain't about to keep doing that to me, bro. Hell no. Like, once you start making, like, six threes, nah, bro. I got to give you the elbow something, bro. Like, you ain't going to keep doing that to me, bro. 
That's like if you continuously keep cutting me, like you keep cutting me, like what am I gonna do? Just keep letting you cut me? No. They really gave. I can't believe they really gave up on my man. So like he nothing. He tried out for the Lakers though. You shouldn't be trying out for shit. You should be still on the motherfucking team. Now we keep disrespecting my man's like that. I mean, I, I don't know, bro. Ooh. Oh, God, I feel it. Ooh, pull up, gang. Strong. Pull up, gang. Strong. I'll be a little fast. Stop playing with my man, Joe. Part of the hype, nigga. Don't forget that shit. You in? No, that's a fact. I ain't gonna lie, yo. It's just sad, yo. Like, yo, I just think that the NBA is a business, bro. Like, it's just. You got to go with the, the most guaranteed situation, bro. Because I feel like it's the same thing with Dennis Schroeder. Because Dennis Schroeder could have signed back with the Lakers. They offered him $84 million. He said, no, I'm going to bet on myself and take $100 million. Now look where he's at. He yeah. signed for fucking $5.9. Yeah, that's, first of all, that's his fucking fault. Cause I don't know what no, I fuck. agree. Because what makes you think you're worth $100 million? I don't know what he was on that day. What was going through his mind to make him think he was worth 120 mil? <laughs> like, Yo. come on, you know he the average 20. Mil. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Come on, w. Or, or what he could have did was like, all right, listen, I signed for that 84 million. Just give me a player option. So if it's a four year contract, give me a player option for that fourth year. That's it. Play on it for three mil. All right, I can opt out, and then depending on how I play. If I play good, then yeah. Now let's say, for instance, he would have signed that. He signed that three year. He would have had a fourth year. All right, his first year bet down bad. All right, cool. I just come back the next year. Like, like yo, like you got to go with the least, the least amount of risk. Like yo, that's a big ass risk you taking, bro. Like a big risk. You feel me? Oh God. Get up off me! Korea! Korea! Oh, dear. Yo, dear, just gonna sign up. Mm. Like, I think he would be a good six man, though, bro. I just feel like whatever team you put him on, you gotta put defenders around him, bro. Like, give him, put him back with a Celtics, yo. They can use him. The Celtics can use him. On a bench? Team, yo. yo, fuck no. Put that nigga in the starting lineup. In a starting lineup? No, yo. I wouldn't put him on a starting lineup, bro. Yo, he needs the ball in his hands, bro, to be effective. He can't play defense, so what else he gonna do? He needs the ball in his hands. Oh, step back. And Andy Cole. Put him back in the league, Debbie. All right. Put him back in the league, Debbie. So what you saying is you would put Isaiah Thomas back with the Celtics? I'd put him back with the Celtics. Yes, I would. I don't think he would fit with the Celtics. You don't think he would fit with the Celtics? Yo, it's just for his skill set, bro. He needs the ball in his hands, bro. He needs the ball in his hands. Now, if you a player that don't need the ball in your hands, you got to be good at something else. So it means you got to be good at defense. You got to be good at rebounding. You got to be good at something. You got to be good at shooting. Now, don't get me wrong. He can shoot. You can put him in the corner, but he needs the ball in his hands, bro. He a ball-dominant guard. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of these plays, yo, I think they just lazy and just not even getting back. They just letting them score. Mm. Mm, look at that, step back. That's all he hitting on them is just, just step backs and open threes and layups. Ooh, pull up game. Strong. He gonna fuck him up. He tall, 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 he tall,
What you about to do with it? Hey. Oh, and one. But the one thing I can say about him, he definitely look like he's still in shape though. It's like he got bigger though. Like, yo, if you look at like his muscles and shit, like don't look like he got bigger. Huh? Him? Uh, uh, maybe I don't. Well, maybe I ain't noticed. Tell me a little nigga, so. That's what I'm saying. He gonna have to. I think he got big. I'm gonna look at some old bitch, but I think he got bigger, bro. Get off me. And one. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, dang. You came back, though. But, but what you going to do? Is, is you going to come right back, though? Is he going to come right back, though? No. Pull up, gang. Pull up, gang. Strong. So I'm saying, yo, they can't be trying, bro. They can't be trying. Ain't no way, bro. I, yo, I don't see no elbows. I don't see no clotheslines. I don't see no clipping. None of that, bro. Yo, but I, but I ain't gonna lie. He one of them players that I actually want to see be successful, though. Like him, Derek Rose, West, uh. Uh, Westbrook, bro, like those are niggas that I love to see because they overcame adversity. You feel what I'm saying? Like, especially Isaiah Thomas. Like, yo, this man's like five, what, 11, 10? Nine. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm off. Five, nine. Like, yo, niggas probably laughed at him saying, You're not making no NBA, nigga. You too little. You feel me? Oh, oh, got him jumping. Uh oh. Oh, get off me. Ah. Get off me. I ain't gonna lie. He fucking you up, big man. something bro like you sitting there letting them do that to you shit good shit though bro real shit good shit though we're definitely going crazy hey game up one of my rides that'll be what she made better let the niggas know that's a fact bro better let the niggas know bro. i ain't gonna lie I would want to see him in, like, Miami. I want to see him play for a contender. Like, Miami, L.A. He'll be he'll even be cool with the Clippers. If you put him on the bench with the Clippers, he can play alongside, like, Paul George or one of them niggas. Like, he'll be good, yo. He just need to be in a place where he can defend, like, 
Like where he don't have to worry about defending. Only thing you we worried about, nigga, put that basketball in the basket. That's it. You ain't got to play no defense. You ain't got to facilitate nothing. I mean, if you can facilitate, by all means. But, no, we want you to score. What you not really do is you not really keep benching my man's dog. Yo. You not oh, really no, keep no. benching my man's dog. I just, I just can't yeah, see him. In, I just can't see him in the starting lineup, bro. Like, I, like honestly, I can't, bro. Cause, Cause, at the end of the day, don't get me wrong, he was a bucket. But we talking about he ain't been in the league in like over four years. Cause when they went to Cleveland, when they went to Cleveland, like what 2015, 2016? Uh, he, he ain't really do nothing. I say this. I say you probably uh, you probably could like bench it for like a couple games. Bench it for like a couple games for real. See how that shit go. See what he put up. Yeah, if he give me thirty, I'll put him in the starting lineup. But it just depends on it depends on who he's playing with. Like the thing about like Miami, Miami gonna share that basketball. They don't give a fuck who who goes off. Listen, Jason Tatum is wasn't Jason Tatum been improving like a motherfucker, right? That's a fact. That's so a fact. Why not put out why not put out T on the motherfucking on the motherfucking service? They gonna have even a better chance. I'm making it for real because it, uh, Jason Tatum been improving. Jalen Brown, even though he been hurt, he been improving. You feel what I'm saying? Who else they got on that motherfucker? That's it. Um, yeah, that's really, I forgot. Shit, I forgot they off season moves, but I know they got like a. Uh... Damn, I forgot. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, can't, I can't even think about it right now. But all right, I say Miami. You say Boston. I mean, we'll just have to see. Like I said, the Lakers said that they worked them out. Get my man so. a forward back. Put it back on Boston. Watch yeah. what he did. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is the end of the video. If you guys like the video, again, give this video a thumbs up. This is your boy Crook. We're signing out. I love you guys. Catch you in the next one. Oh, shit. I'm throwing gang signs. Hey, I don't gang bang, bro. I, I ain't mean to throw no gang signs. I was trying to do peace and it ended up being like that. I do not gang bang. I'm throwing up a two sign, okay? Alright. <laughs> I don't gag bag, okay? Bye bad. Alright, peace.